Morning, guys. This message is about the voice of the Lord. We're about to hear him plain and clear and simple. Sorry for the backdrop of the sun. Um, I wasn't going to do this video this morning. I've got quite a bit on my plate. I needed to be somewhere. But the Lord impressed upon me to do it this morning. Something's transpiring this next week, guys. At the latest. I'm not, you know... That's not, maybe my claim to fame. That's not what I'm. That's not what that's about. It's a warning. Time to weep and pray between the porch and the altar. But the voice of the Lord, we're about to hear plain and clear as day. Psalms. I'm gonna bear with me while I click. I normally don't like to do this, but I've got it up. And it's Psalms 29. Three. The voice. Of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. Psalms 29 and 4. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Guys, we're about to hear his thunderous, immense voice. Lightnings and thunderings. The voice of the Lord. The world's about to hear it plain and clear. Hebrews 12, 16 through 26. But read the whole thing. But the 26th says about the voice of the Lord. He's going to shake the earth and the heaven. It's coming, guys, down the pike. That God prepared and preordained. All you have to do is look around at this crazy world. I'm not politicizing it any. But it's got to be spoken of. This morning, Facebook is doing it all the time now, guys. But I'll be posting stuff, reposting stuff. And I've got three pages, two pages, and my own personal page. And it'll say share with friends, which I do, and then I'll share, share to a page. When I hit certain posts that they don't like, that share to a page isn't, doesn't exist. It goes away. Like there's algorithms in it. Started two years ago with one about the, a major chain that supports the gay lifestyle. And I put on there, why don't you just try reading your Bible? It's in Romans 1. Maybe go through the 26th on up. Not good. He confronted Elijah. Elijah, what are you doing here? Uh, he's hiding out from the, from the, you know, about to get killed, he thought. <clears throat> the spirit of the world, Jezebel. <clears throat> God confronted them. What are you doing here? Elijah's, Joel's army, it's time to come forth. I'm not talking about speaking out against the political system. We all think that we're, you know, man, we haven't been free, a free land in a while, guys. Our voting is gone. It doesn't matter. It's it's who you pray for. I'm not saying, not, don't get this wrong. And say, I'm not saying don't be involved in the politics of it. What I'm saying is pray, because that's where we're going to win this battle. Prayer and supplication. And we better start praying. This is a warning from the Lord. His thunder and his voice. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm in Texas. Been down here 35 years. Everything is bigger in Texas generally. But their thunderstorms are lame. I was raised in Minnesota 18 years. It is the land of 10,000 lakes. Plenty of fuel for those thunderstorms. Springtime, the cold Canadian air meets the southern air. And it's a collision. When it thunders, boom! And the lightning will last sometimes 15, 20 seconds. The whole sky will be lit up. Very, very violent. Cool. I used to love those as a kid. Playing them all the time. They're really, really powerful storms. And I'm sure there's others in the land too. You know, but they are just... We're going to hear his voice, guys. There's going to be no denying it to the world. 
because it's decision time we're going to choose. I'm not talking about who you voted for. Nothing to do with it. That's all we want to twist it up. The enemies use that to twist up the word of God and to get us off target, off kilter. I put this on this morning. Okay, Facebook, quit lying and trying to bury the truth because the devil tried it with Jesus and it didn't work. He rose again. I'm talking, guys, pray because if you don't pray, you're not going to have direction. You better pray first and get direction. I'm not, I don't want you to agree with me. I'm not, I'm not looking for votes. I'm not looking for friends on Facebook. I'm not looking for, you know, hits on YouTube. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not trying to start a ministry. Are you agreeing with me? I'm telling you, pray. Do what he tells you to do. It better be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. We are about, heaven's about to bust loose, guys, with his voice. Instead, we're listening to this Yahoo idiot, Dr. Fossey. Man, guys, look how he treated, do you ever hear that story anymore about how he treated the beagles? But generally, people that are that cruel to animals are cruel to people, too. He let them die a horrible death had to cut their vocal cords out so they wouldn't hear him screaming in pain and agony and didn't give him any they, nothing how many did he do all this stuff it's buried i don't care anymore about that nonsense because what i care about is his coming the king is coming back his voice is about to be heard god is about to bust the heavens loose and all this nefarious, hidden garbage. Not just, the, it's sin, guys. It's the evilness of sin. It has nothing to do with the political system. It's the evilness in people's hearts. The murder and mayhem, abortion being the number one charge of that. Killing babies on demand. What if you were that baby? What if that was your life? that was destroyed and somebody else made a choice to destroy. I know there's some complications to it. I get that. The women feel really trapped. It's just like the guy, the woman that was caught in adultery, guys, a lot. Where was the guy? Where was the man? Okay, there, there, there's more to it. Sometimes, you know, the women feel trapped, betrayed, their parents, the society, the guys off sowing his wild oats to somebody else. Well, that's not even good. Not even close. It was a life. My wife said it really good. She said, man, imagine what those people could have been doing, would have been doing. I mean, would have been saved. King, presidents, who knows? Their life was snatched by the enemy through people. Who are you to, to have that right to take a life? You're not. His voice is coming, guys. And it's going to be loud. And that light is going to shine brilliantly. So are you going to be part of it? Are you going to let that light shine through you? That's why he's cleaning up. Guys, I'm reeling right now from some stuff myself that I created. I didn't think I had pride in my life because I've been saved 40 years a long time ago. And I've had some, some really humbling experiences with the Lord. And I was doing some things, some helps ministries, and I thought I was in the, I wasn't the will of God, but I was doing it my way. So it wasn't really 100% in his will. I deviated from it just enough that sin came in. But it was already there. Bride of life. It was humiliating and humbling when I realized it. Because it was sin that I didn't think was in my heart. I had to get rid of it. And I'm still reeling from it, guys, from the aftermath of it, okay? And the enemy has tried his best to destroy me, okay? Right now I'm facing that, and it's not good. Facing some medical challenges that aren't good. One of them was a brain stroke again. I've had one, Ted, one two years ago. I had a very massive one again. One brain cell, guys, literally. He see me through it. Just like he saw me through when I was in the hospital twice in the last couple years because I'm diabetic for toe problems. 
Last one, I'm in the hospital, two infected toes, one of them really bad, into the bone, they couldn't get rid of it. I prayed about it, the Lord said, tell me to get rid of the infection. Surgeons, first first emergency room surgeon I went to, one of the places, man, I'm three in the afternoon, I'm sitting, met me, I gotta go to the hospital, run to the emergency room, go to check in, and he's doing surgery tomorrow in the morning time, he's cutting them off. I've did 10,000, he's, well, I bet you have. Doctors, I mean, literally coming in there yelling at me, guys, doctors yelling at me, gonna die, yelling at me, nurses running off, so scared. Surgeons, they didn't realize I prayed, and the Lord told me to tell me to get rid of the infection, and I was in there almost a week this last time, and I told them that, and they didn't like the plan. Surgeon came in. We're gonna cut off five. What's wrong with the other three? I still got all of them guys This was July I fought the system Got a different doctor 10 weeks of antibiotics brutal four hours a day brutal five one nine and an hour of cleaning my foot Got all ten toes, and I'm still walking. And last diagnosis was C in three months. So this, I've had plenty of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego moments, guys. More than any person should probably have. And it's not a pride thing. That's just where the Lord has me right now. And the, the things that He's done for me, I can tell you. And, the, and they're they're very humbling experiences. Trust me. I just didn't see it like that, all of it, enough of it, 90%, but read my messages of what you're heading. That's what the enemy's doing with this political system and all this mess. He's deviating it just enough that we get tied up in that garbage of the world and our mind gets bent and twisted, but we're about to hear his voice and it's gonna be loud and clear and concise and precise. It's so loud you're not gonna be able to and I, it was him. And the light of the world, Christ, is going to shine forth. So are you in or out? Are you Joe's army? Or are you going to side with the world? I'm not that compromising guy. Guys, compromise is not in my vocabulary that much. Very little. I don't need to not really compromise. I try to use wisdom versus the compromise. You might wonder why I repost some of these people that I'm reposting. I'm going to just say this. is I don't think they'll mind a plug, honestly. A friend of mine, David Jackrin. Man, if you saw his life, guys. He's a, I think he's a software engineer. He's a very, very intelligent guy. But that's how he can read, treats the Bible. Very, very, very in-depth and thorough. So that's needed. I'm like Larry the Cable Guy. I'm just going to get it out. Okay, that's, we're all needed, guys. We all have our mantles. Another friend of mine, another pastor, good pastor. He's a very good pastor. He's got that heart. Just real pure. Carl Theiner. I repost his stuff, too. A lot of his stuff, too. It's not agree, disagree. Con Man, guys, I was in the Pentecostal movement for 10 years as a preacher. Holiness for 10 years. And then I was a prodigal son. And, and man of God. Shaking my fist to heaven. You're not a good God. All this happened in my life. I get the grace piece. That was nine years ago that I came back to the Lord. I get the grace piece, guys. We're about to hear his voice. And we think that this is a trap. And it is. The enemy. God rules and reigns and the world is going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt who's in charge and it's coming next week guys i've been saying this for a long time there's a storm coming to the land amos 8 11 through 9 11 that was a year ago there's a storm coming you better run the idols of entertainment the idol all this idols all this idol worship it's a really good post by someone friend of mine, Christian friend of mine, and said there's 4,200 religions, but there's only one tomb. There's only one Jesus, only one God, only one Holy Ghost, only one Bible. We're about to hear his voice, guys. 
loud and clear, precise and concise. So you're going to do one of two things. You're going to run to them or from them. It's time to get close. I said this, this is maybe, this is not meant to be political. I said this a long time ago. What are you going to do when gas hits 10 bucks a gallon? Man, I'm going to pray that God give me the 10 bucks to get the gas. And he has more than once. 10 bucks now, it's not 10 bucks yet. But my point is, rain man down from heaven, water from a rock. What are we lacking? What are you worried about? You better be in tune with what he's telling you to do. Whether it's, you know, be part of a church, part of a ministry, helping people. You know, it's all necessary, guys. Even the tithes and the offering, some. But you better pray about it that it's the right place. And it's the right gathering. And it's the right people. That's one of the other things I'm dealing with now. I hooked up with some people that I thought I was helping, and man, it was a disaster. Two of them. I had to cut the ties. I had to really think. And then the enemy sent somebody else along to try to help again, and it was like, no. But then I've helped others, and it's been yes. So, and the Lord got chastised me. He said, have you been praying about it? thought it was. I pray all the time. But I missed that. Because Stevie got caught up in the flesh. And the pride of life and thinking, you know, look what God's done. Yeah, look what God's done. That's my point. We're going to hear his voice loud and clear. If you've got sin in your life, I don't care what it is, get rid of it. it. We all have different ones. Some of them are similar. Get rid of it. He's not cleaning the White House. He's cleaning our house. The message I got out from Leviticus 29 about the house is polluted. It's your house, my house. Oh, it's coming. When that storm comes in Minnesota and you hear the lightning and or you, you see the lightning and you hear the thunder, you can smell the rain. And it's a purifying, especially in the spring. It's so clean smelling afterwards. The rain coming. You better run, guys, to him or from him, one or the other. There's not going to be this sitting on the fence. The fence is being blown down, tore up, gone. This is the real deal, guys. Get right or get left. I'm not politicizing that. Get right with him or get left behind. No more of this hogwash, mealy mouth. Preaching. Big old Nathaniel Dorsey. Big old black minister. Sat around for seven years, eight years. A long time, guys. Me, I, the only th white thing in the church was me and the walls. And he used to say he'd be preaching those hellfire and brimstone messages. Some of them, and some of them were just good, good solid messages. There was a lot of good messages that came from him. He'd be preaching. You don't like that page in the Bible? Tear it out. I added to that. Yeah, you'll have a holy Bible, all right? It'll be so full of holes, you won't even recognize it, the Word of God. Because you told, you you know, some people take scriptures out. They twist them. Some people beat you over the head with their favorite scripture. Nonsense, guys. What are you hearing from God? What's his direction? You better be praying. You better be weeping and praying. This better be real de the real deal, the real prayers. Not some fake mayonnaise. The real stuff. Come on, guys. We're going to hear his voice. As many water, over many waters. That's the, that's the internet. That's the world. How, how do you want to look at it? It's way past this political garbage and system. It's control of the world. <clears throat> the enemy, like I said, the enemy tried to bury. That's why I told Facebook, trying to lie and bury the truth. The devil tried that. With Jesus. Look, look how that came out. 
Look what the end result was. It's part of God's plan. His son for our salvation. Come on, guys. We're going to hear his voice. You better not have wax in your ears. Your eyes better not be closed. Your mind better be this mind of Christ. You better get in tune. If you're not, fine. This is grace right now. This is a time of grace, but it's also a time of prayer, seeking and weeping and praying between the porch and the altar. Because I don't like this saying that much, but it's about to hit the fan, guys. Love you. Pray, weep, seek his face. I'm not... I don't, I'm not getting you to try to listen to me. I'm getting you to give you direction. Get in tune with God and Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. What's He telling you? And just do it. Get her done. Because it's about to bust loose. And I don't say this lightly, guys. I pray about everything that I say because I've got to stand. I'm going to stand before God with what I say, not 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 before you, and not before man, and not trying to sensationalize or build some kind of ministry out of this deal or get you to send me a bunch of money. I could use all of it. I'm I've been on YouTube for four years, five years. I mean, I never asked for an offering, guys, once. Not going to do it. Others do, yes. Me? No, I'm not. I'm just not. So this is free because the gospel is free, but I get the other part of it too. I'm not that narrow-minded. Get in tune with him because it's that personal relationship. You're going to be the one standing before the king one day, not me for your for what you did or didn't do. Me the same way. My life. Clean up, guys. I'm 13. Please. But it's clean up before the cross at Calvary. Wash with the washing of the water of the word. And if you don't wash and you decide not to do it, that storm's coming and that rain's going to do it for you. And a lot of times, those storms, when they come, they're not, they destroy things. But that's not to destroy things. It's to clear a path. Because Jesus is worried about your soul. He doesn't care about your stuff and your things and your emotions and your. He wants your soul to be with him. Way more important, guys. This is deep, revelatory. Rubber meets the road. Get it done. But it's going to be prayer and supplication. I'm talking about prayer and supplication. I'm not talking about they, that they hit the ceiling and bounce right back and hit you in the head. Come on, guys and girls, boys and boys and girls, men and women, children. Come on, get right with the Lord. Love you guys, because we're about to hear His voice, and it's either be good good news or bad news. That fence is gone. There ain't, there ain't gonna be a fence. Or offense, that's how the world is now. I'm offended because you said something. Who cares? Love you guys.